New at noon, a gut feeling by two Wake County paramedics helped get a missing teen hundreds of miles away from home back to her family. CBS 17's Jamise Price spoke with the medics who said, always trust your instincts. Jamise. Bill, and we're so glad that these medics trusted their instincts in this situation because this story ends on a positive note that teen is safe back home with her family. But the story also comes with another set of reminders that if something doesn't feel right, chances are it's not. Rick Reynoso and Nicholas Naylor answer calls from the public all day, just about every day. It's a part of their job as paramedics with Wake County EMS. Right out the gate, 645, trying to get the coffee, you know, trying to get amped up and ready to go for the day. A day that started out like any other Friday on the job, but this early morning call turned out to be more. If somebody was wandering around that was not doing well. This is a young girl and she's a minor. She's here by herself. All concerning for the medics, but they continue to do their job. As we're driving, you know, I'm just thinking in my head, you know, something's just not right here. And it wasn't. So Nick checked out the National Center for Missing and Exploited Children's website. I uh, pulled up on my phone first and started with the National Exploited Children um, online um, because I was just starting to think, you know, maybe this is a missing child. I did a Google search and I looked and nothing on the first page, scrolled to the second page and all of a sudden up pops a, a notification from um, the uh, police department in that area had put out a bolo missing persons and uh, the picture popped up and I identified that this is our patient. It was determined the teen girl was missing from the northeast part of the country and found here in North Raleigh. She was connected back with her family. All happening through the persistent efforts of two medics, Rick and Nick. Keeps you motivated, you know, it, it's it's what drives you to the next, keeps you going to the next call. You know, the small things that we do make a big difference in people's lives. A medic said on the training, on the job training helped them out in this situation, but they also took it a step further with the Blue Campaign, a national public awareness campaign designed to educate the public, law enforcement, and their partners on ways to recognize signs of human trafficking. Live in Raleigh, Jamise Price, CBS 17 News.